Hey girl, hey! Did you hear that Young Miami, aka Carisha, has finally spoke out on everything that has been going on? She did an interview on her show, Carisha Please, and her best friend, Saucy Santana, interviewed her. And he renamed the episode, Carisha Speaks, which I was feeling 100%. Girl. T was spilled about her relationships with Diddy and JT. And what really surprised me was what she said about JT. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I thought everything was good between Carisha and JT. But the way I hear it, everything is not all good. So let's start with JT's new album, City Cinderella. I've been streaming the heck out of her album because it's pretty good. Have y'all listened? And JT also released a little documentary on her process of creating City Cinderella, which I watched. And she opened the program by stating that everything we knew about the City Girls was a lie, girl. Mm -hmm. And she also stated that there was no beef between her and Carisha and that they both amicably decided to work on separate goals or excuse me, separate projects. When I heard that, I was like, oh, okay, cool, because for me personally, I didn't want to choose a side, right? And I was super happy. I did find some of the lyrics in some of her songs a little suspicious when she says something along the lines of someone jumping ship too soon and how someone could have been rocking with her. But I was like, I know she ain't talking about Carisha. She must be talking about someone else on her team. But after hearing what Carisha said, now I'm thinking she was talking about Carisha because I can see that JT likes to throw shots at folks. Case in point, her song, Okay, where she says, the bitch ate crab legs, now a hoe tooth missing, cheap ass veneers, you stay talking shit, put a market to this hoe, she's so counterfeit. She was clearly taking shots at Sukiyana, and that's why my girl Suki made the diss track, cocaine, cocaine, bitch you on cocaine, <laughs> directed at JT, and really she went in on JT, y'all. But back to Carisha. She said that there is no beef between her and JT, but that everything is not all good either. Saucy brought up the fact that Carisha and JT were arguing on Twitter and that it seemed like JT was making songs about Carisha. And so he asked Carisha, do, do she feel like JT is throwing a rock and hiding her hand? Carisha said that, you know what, they don't talk as much as they used to, but that she still considers JT family. Carisha said she wasn't happy that JT took their problems to the internet instead of talking it out in private and that it's been a minute since things have been rocky between her and JT. And the messiest part was when Carisha said that she didn't even know that JT was working on a solo album. That's strange because didn't JT say in her documentary that everything was good and that they would, you know, they was happy to be working on their own solo projects. But anyway and that um, JT is living in LA while Carisha is still living in Miami and that they don't they didn't even see each other in the studio during their last project and that the only time they would see each other was on stage and then afterwards they go their own separate ways she said they even had separate dressing rooms during their performances Carisha said she's not sure when the separation happened or what drove them apart huh I don't know y'all I hate to pick sides but I'm team Carisha because honestly, I don't like what I'm hearing about JT. I probably wouldn't blame JT for her actions if Carisha hadn't waited three years for JT while she was incarcerated and held the group down during that time. Because let's be honest, Carisha could have done a many things in those three years and left JT out, but she didn't. She stood strong and waited on her sister so they could enjoy success together. And that's what made me side with Carisha. I mean, you know, JT could have just asked Carisha what was up face to face as her sister. Now, I'm not sure if JT started making moves before or after Carisha got her podcast, because I can understand how that might make someone insecure about the group's future. But damn, girl, you couldn't call your sis and just ask her straight up. I don't like sneaky hoes. Something that JT did that really had me looking at her sideways was going on Keisha Kior's podcast to promote her album. Because it's so obvious that Keisha is biting off of Carisha, please. She even had her first guest as her man, Gucci, just like how Carisha's first guest was Diddy. 
but Keisha's podcast looks cheap and she really should take some classes on how to interview her guests and how to engage with the audience because it's giving amateur night. She probably thought Carisha Please was done because of the drama with Diddy, but she was wrong, ho. Boop. But on to some good news, Carisha Please has been renewed for another season. Yeah, so we will be seeing our girl very soon. And she also has part two of her board game coming out. I think it's called Re uh, Carisha Reloaded or something like that. And that's going to be dropping soon. So for all y'all, uh, you know, likes to drink and all that, make sure y'all get y'all coffee because we got to support our girl, Carisha. But what do y'all think about this situation? Do you think JT is shady? Are you team Carisha? Let me know down in the comments. Now, I'm gonna get back to my vacation. I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye.